So to run up this section, which is session three, to a database and shape file, we're going to be looking at the shape file itself. So this shape file is more relevant on ArcGIS desktop, but it become obsolete or it's non-existent in ArcGIS Pro. So we're going to learn how to create future class, I'm sorry, shape file in this video. So we'll move to the folder we have already, which is called ArcGIS, sorry, GIS training. And um, we have our geodatabase folders, which we've created in the last class. So this time around, we will not need this folder. So if you want to, in time of shapefile, to be able to organize your shapefile, assuming this is our folder that we're using for everything, to do anything as shapefile, you have to right click, go to new, and you create a new folder. So let's say this time around now we have ABU. So the folder ABU will become our container this time around. Because shapefile is being created on the empty spaces. So now we will have ABU as our container. So it's going to contain everything we're going to create inside. And everything will be created on an individual basis. You cannot categorize a shapefile. You create every shapefile as an entity. You cannot put shapefile like the way we uh, have uh, the geodatabase, then we have future data set, then we have um, future class like this. So everything will be put on this folder and be created in it. So you right click on the ABU folder now, and then you go to new, then you come down to a shape file. So in shape file, we have, they ask you what kind of shape file. So this time around, let's say we want to work on, uh, let's say, want to work on a road. So we name it road. So what uh, future type is a road? It's a line future. It's asking for coordinate system. So you click and then, since we're still working within Amadou University, we'll use MENA SON32 as our coordinate system. And we'll click on OK. So we'll click on OK. That is all. Our shape file is created. So which means Everything you want to do, you have to create a separate shape file, a separate shape file, a separate shape file. So let's right click and go to properties and check one or two things. Now, when we come to shape file, unlike when we come to a uh, future class, you see there are only one, two, three, four, five. Let's remove it. So we right click on this and go to properties. Uh, okay, let me remove this. You right click on the future class and go to properties. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? But then coming to shape file, you can only see that we have one, two, three, four, five. So only have the coordinate system, we have the general where we'll change the name, but we cannot change the future type. Then we have fields where we can add more fields, more attributes. Then we have indexes where we can only uh, check the kind of index and add other indexes. Now, to add any file, it's in the list to delete an index uncheck it. All right, so once it is like this, it is when you uncheck it, it's gone. So basically, these are the only thing, the future extent. Basically, there's nothing more on ship file to tell you that Shapefile is becoming so obsolete that a lot of things are not in them. So basically, you should adopt future class. But this is for knowledge purpose and knowledge base so that you know both how to do it. So that is that for this video tutorial. I will see you in the next one, which we are starting our section four. So stay tuned.